The father of the Belarusian opposition blogger, Roman Protasevich, has told the BBC his son's been moved from prison to house arrest. Protasevich, you may remember, was arrested last month when his flight to Lithuania was forced to divert to Minsk on the pretext of a bomb threat. He's since been seen on state television, making a confession that his family says was coerced. His girlfriend is also said to have been moved out of detention. Let's get more now uh, from Hanna Lyubakova, a Belarusian opposition journalist. She joins me now from from an undisclosed uh, location. Uh, Hannah, you heard this news, I think, uh, reasonably early. What does it mean to you that he has been moved out of formal detention? Well, I think timing here is important. Firstly, um, in the be beginning of this week, there was a fourth package of sanctions announced by the EU against the Belarusian regime. And then only yesterday there were kind of another, let's say, round of sectoral sanctions announced. So clearly, uh, Lukashenko, the regime in Minsk, is scared of sanctions. So they are trying now to kind of start trading in political prisoners so that some of these sanctions are lifted or um, kind of eased. So that's kind of their signal that they are trying to, to send, that they are ready to move some of these political prisoners to uh, under house arrest in exchange of these sanctions being lifted. But for Protasevich and his girlfriend, Sofia Sapega, being moved doesn't mean being freed. This doesn't mean at all, because they are now uh, being held in apartments and they have to leave with the KGB agents. Every step is watched by, by those agents. Wherever they go, uh, they cannot go, obviously, freely. Charges uh, are still in place, so these youngsters can be moved to prison at any moment. They're just being held as hostages, and as well as hundreds of other political prisoners. So it's important that the West does not kind of believe in Lukashenko's promises, does not lift sanctions, because that's what Lukashenko wants uh, to achieve, to kind of show that he is ready to release two people, but there are hundreds of more other political prisoners who are being held in prison. Yeah, important to say that there are hundreds of, of political prisoners. For Protasevich, Mr. Protasevich, is he allowed communications with the outside world, with his family? So his parents say that he is not allowed at all. They cannot communicate with him. They don't really know about his health, uh, how he feels, what's happening to him. Uh, they know nothing about his conditions. And they actually sh say that it's um, some sort of torture for them because they are not even allowed to, to, to talk to him at all. So we don't know what's happening to him. Uh, there, were, um, uh, there was information that he might have been tortured, that he might have been beaten. Um, and that's something that we have to check and we are not allowed to do so. So his lawyer cannot also disclose um, a lot of information about his charges, about his criminal cases. Um, and that's um, kind of another, we see that the regime is just uh, limiting information um, and it's not, um, it's not really possible to know what's happened, what happened to him. And what about his girlfriend, Sofia Sapega, who was also on that flight? Is she seen as politically significant? Uh, that's very interesting because she was not, um, Roman was on this KGB terrorist list and he was wanted in Belarus. She was not. Nevertheless, she was detained. She was arrested together with him. And it's not really cl clear on what charges and why she was arrested. But she was uh, put in prison and everybody understands that it was done because the regime wanted to put additional pressure on Roman so that he agrees to collaborate with the regime, so that he agrees, so, so that he's scared, basically. Um, and she is being, again, held as hostage as well as Roman. So that's her only guilt. Hanna Lyubakova, I know you are very well connected. You know Roman Protasevich. Thank you for bringing us the latest.